Hey, what's up? This is Reed with Smart Home Solver, and today we're going to be talking about the WiseCam Alexa integration that was announced recently. And this is going to make the WiseCam cameras, which are already pretty good, even better. And we've done reviews of the WiseCam and the WiseCam Pan. Check out those links in the description below. This feature, though, it feels like it should be used on like an outdoor camera. You know, if you're sitting on your couch watching TV and someone knocks on your front door and you don't want to get up and see who it is, you want to just pull up the live feed on your TV. To me, that is like a really good use case. Wisecam, you know, they're indoor cameras and they say you should only use them indoors. But, you know, what the heck? You know, they're 20, 25 bucks. I'm going to try to use one outdoors. I thought, what a better time to try this out. I live in Arizona. It's the middle of summer. So let's just see if the camera holds up outdoors. We're gonna be giving updates if it survives. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to see some of those updates in the future. The Wise Cam is gonna be probably a lot of people's first smart camera. So we're gonna just go through the steps real quick how to connect it to Alexa. So all you have to do is open the Alexa app and go to the skills and search for Wise Cam and then enable the skill. You'll just type in your Wise Cam credentials then you go to the smart home section and you add devices that will scan and find the devices. It might ask you once you add the skill to do that anyways. So just to know it works on the Fire TV, the Echo Show, the Echo Spot, Fire HD 8 and 10, and the Fire Stick will be coming soon when Amazon updates the Fire Sticks software. We're gonna be showing the Wisecam feed on the Fire HD 8, which we did a review on recently using the show mode doc. So check that out in the link above. So here it is. Show me the wise cam. Okay. It loads up fairly quickly using Alexa, but what is it compared to using the app and pulling out your phone and looking at the feed that way? Show pan cam. So as you can see, the app's actually a lot faster and there's almost no delay using the wise cam app. Going through Amazon is about a two to three second delay in the live footage. So there are some pluses and minuses of using the app versus pulling up the feed using Alexa. So when you do pull up the feed using Alexa, you're not gonna get two-way voice. So if you wanna to talk to the other person on the camera, you're gonna to have to use the app for that. And if you're using the Wisecam pan, you're not gonna be able to move around the camera right now. But it is useful, say you're in the kitchen and you're cooking and your hands are dirty and you need to see who's at the front door because someone's knocking. You can pull up the feed uh, right there. The other way that's useful is using the wise cam in a kid's bedroom. You know, you're using it as like a baby monitor to watch your kids. You think you hear your kids get out of bed. A lot of people have a TV in their bedroom or an echo show on their nightstand. You can just pull up the feed real quick and see if they're getting out of bed. Or, you know, you're laying in bed and your wife's like, hey, did you hear that noise? I'm like, oh, I don't want to get out of bed right now. I'm comfortable. I don't want to go see what it is, but you know, you can just pull up the feed right there on your TV in your bedroom. But hats off to Wisecam for adding this feature to such inexpensive cameras. They're always updating their camera software, so it's awesome to see new updates come out pretty regularly. We appreciate you watching. Subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more smart home videos, and we'll see you again next time.